Imagine the blistering heat of Death Valley at 134 degrees Fahrenheit, the hottest temperature ever recorded on Earth. Now, picture a place where this sweltering heat would be considered mild. Welcome to the universe's hottest planets, where temperatures soar to unimaginable extremes, making Earth's record highs look like a cool breeze. Conversely, the coldest spot on Earth at minus 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit feels positively balmy compared to the frigid realms of our solar system and beyond. Mars, with its bone-chilling lows of minus 220 degrees, and Jupiter, averaging a mind-numbing minus 238 degrees, are just the beginning. But the intrigue doesn't end with temperature. Our planet, cozy in its Goldilocks zone, is but a speck when compared to the colossal giants that roam the cosmos. The enormity of Jupiter already boggles the mind, yet it's not the largest. Beyond our solar system lie planets so massive that they defy our understanding of size. So, what are the most scorching, the iciest, and the largest planets out there? Join us as we journey through the extremes of the universe, exploring these incredible worlds that redefine what we thought we knew about planets. Buckle up. It's going to be an astronomical ride. But before we continue, if you are fascinated by the incredible discoveries and spectacular wonders of the universe, be sure to subscribe to The Rocket to continue exploring the cosmos with us. Let's start with the hottest planets out there. What is the hottest planet in our solar system? When it comes to planetary temperatures, it's all about proximity to the heat source, the star. And let's not forget, the hotter the star, the more scorching its orbiting planets become. Take our trusty neighbor Mercury, for example. It sits snugly closest to the Sun at a mean distance of 57,910,000 kilometers. On its day side, temperatures soar to a toasty 430 degrees Celsius. Now that might sound like a sweltering day in the desert, but hold on, the Sun itself blazes at a surface temperature of 5,500 degrees Celsius, making Mercury seem almost chilly in comparison. Well, buckle up, because we're about to take a journey to the sizzling side of space. Picture this. It's not the planet closest to the Sun that holds the title of hottest. Nope, that honor goes to Venus, where the surface temperature hits a blistering 869 degrees Fahrenheit or 465 degrees Celsius. That's hotter than your average sauna on a midsummer day. Now, you might be scratching your head, wondering why Venus, despite being farther from the sun than Mercury, feels like the inside of a barbecue grill. Here's the scoop. Venus boasts a thick, soupy atmosphere filled with carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid. This atmospheric concoction acts like a snug blanket, trapping heat in a relentless cycle of warmth. It's like living in a greenhouse, minus the plants and the occasional gardener. But hold on to your space helmets because we're not done yet. There's a stellar twist. Enter HD 195689, also known as the Fiery Kelt 9, a star 2.5 times more massive than our sun. This cosmic furnace burns with such intensity that its surface temperature reaches a staggering almost 10,000 degrees Celsius. Imagine a planet cozying up to such a scorching star, Kelt 9b, to be exact. This gas giant orbits its blazing host at a distance much closer than Mercury's cozy orbit around the Sun, completing a full orbit every 1.5 Earth days, compared to Mercury's leisurely 88-day journey. The result? This cosmic inferno makes Venus look like a cool breeze on a summer day. Brace yourself for this. Kelt 9b boasts a mind-boggling surface temperature of 7,800 degrees Fahrenheit, or 4,300 degrees Celsius. That's hotter than the surface of some stars. If Mercury were to swap places with Kelt 9b, it wouldn't stand a chance. It would melt into a bubbling pool of molten lava faster than you can say hot potato. But Kelt 9b, despite its blistering temperatures, remains a gas giant akin to Jupiter, albeit a withering one. Its atmosphere undergoes a fiery transformation as its molecules break down into their elemental atoms, gradually evaporating into the cosmic abyss. And get this, 
It's chilling, pun intended, 670 light years away from our humble abode on Earth. So, while Venus might feel like a cozy campfire, Kelt 9B is more like being the marshmallow in that fire. You'd be toast in no time. In the vast expanse of the cosmos, some exoplanets sizzle with such intensity that they redefine the meaning of hot. Among these scorching realms, AB Origai B blazes with a temperature that soars to a blistering 3,800 degrees Celsius, 4,073 Kelvin. Not far behind, 55 Cancri E, affectionately dubbed Janssen, radiates with a searing heat reaching around 3,171 degrees Celsius, 4,044 Kelvin. TWI 2109B, WASP 1089B, TWI 1580B, WASP 103B, KELT 16B, and WASP 12B join the ranks of these cosmic infernos, each boasting temperatures that would melt even the hardiest of spacecraft. WASP 12B, in particular, orbits so close to its parent star that its very shape is distorted by the tidal forces, resembling an egg under the relentless onslaught of heat. These discoveries serve as a fiery reminder of the astonishing diversity and extremes that exist beyond the confines of our own solar system. So when it comes to the hottest planets in the universe, Venus might be sizzling in our solar system, but Kelt 9b takes the crown for the ultimate cosmic hotspot. Just remember to pack your sunscreen and a fire extinguisher if you ever plan on visiting these celestial wonders. Let's now focus on the coldest planets out there. What is the coldest planet in our solar system? When it comes to icy realms, the title of the coldest planet can get a bit frosty and complicated. Uranus holds the record for the lowest recorded temperature in our solar system, plunging to a bone-chilling minus 370 degrees Fahrenheit. It's so cold that you'd need more than just a heavy jacket you'd need an entire wardrobe of thermal wear just to consider setting foot there. But wait, there's more to this frosty tale. Despite being farther from the sun, Neptune, Uranus's distant cousin, tends to have a lower mean temperature overall. It's like comparing freezers. Uranus is that super cold spot you avoid at all costs, while Neptune is the consistently cold freezer that keeps everything uniformly chilly. So, depending on how you look at it, both planets are ice-cold contenders for the title. What about the coldest known planet in the entire universe? Meet Ogiel 2005 BLG 390 LB, the undisputed champion of cold in the cosmic arena, where temperatures plummet to a bone-chilling 50 degrees above absolute zero. That's a teeth-chattering, 223 degrees Celsius. This frigid celestial body, with a mass approximately 5.5 times that of Earth, likely wears the rocky mantle of a true planetary heavyweight. This exoplanet is a celestial icebox that rivals even the coldest temperatures recorded on Uranus. This exoplanet's average temperature also hits the frigid low of minus 370 degrees Fahrenheit, making it a tie in the interstellar ice challenge. Ogul 2005 BLG 390 LB is a staggering 21,526 light years from Earth. Talk about long distance cold. Its discovery was announced in 2005, adding another icy wonder to our ever growing list of cosmic curiosities. Now picture this chilly planet nestled in the cosmic dance, orbiting its host star at a distance that would snugly fit between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter in our own solar system. But here's the twist. Its host star isn't your average blazing behemoth. No, it's a low-mass cool star known as a red dwarf, casting a gentle, icy glow over its frosty companion. Now, for a bit of pop culture flair, you might have heard Ogle 2005 BLG 390 LB, affectionately referred to as Hoth, a nod to the icy planet from a certain beloved space saga. But unlike its fictional counterpart, this real-life Hoth won't be hosting any rebel bases or epic battles. Why, you ask? Well, for starters, it won't be able to hold on to much of an atmosphere, let alone support life. Most of its gases would be frozen solid, adding to the thick blanket of snow that likely carpets its surface. 
In the vast tapestry of the cosmos, amidst the blazing infernos of distant stars, some exoplanets dwell in a realm of perpetual chill. Among these icy worlds, Ogle 2005 BLG 071LB stands out, shivering at a bone-chilling temperature of 218 degrees Celsius. Far from the warmth of its distant sun, this frigid giant boasts a mass equivalent to 3.8 times that of Jupiter, MJ, embodying the epitome of cosmic cold. Joining the ranks of these frosty realms is PSR B1620 26B, with its temperature dipping to a frosty 201.2 degrees Celsius. This ancient wanderer holds the title of one of the oldest exoplanets known, with an awe-inspiring age of 12.7 billion years. Despite its icy grip, PSR B162026 b continues its timeless journey through the cosmos, a silent sentinel of the distant past. So, whether you're talking about our solar system or the wider universe, there are planets out there that redefine what it means to be cold. Just remember, when you're reaching for your winter coat on a chilly Earth day, there's a place far, far away where cold takes on an entirely new meaning. Let's finish with the biggest planets out there. What is the biggest planet we know of? Determining the biggest planet is a bit like trying to pick the biggest fish in a vast ocean. It all depends on your criteria. But let's dive into the cosmic sea and meet some of the giants vying for the title. One of the largest known planets is Rocks 42 BB a gas giant orbiting a star about 460 light-years from Earth. This behemoth is around nine times the mass of Jupiter and boasts a radius about 2.5 times that of Jupiter. Imagine stacking almost 10 Jupiters together, that's Rox's 42b by for you. However, not everyone is convinced that Rox's 42bb is the absolute largest. Thane Curry, an associate professor of physics and astronomy at the University of Texas, San Antonio, discovered this colossal planet using the Keck Space Telescope back in 2013. But he believes there might be even bigger planets out there, including some still in the process of forming, known as protoplanets. For instance, two such protoplanets orbit the star PDS-70, about 370 light-years from Earth. These giants are still being assembled, with radii estimated to be between two and four times that of Jupiter. Then there's Hat P67b, another heavyweight contender with a radius over twice that of Jupiter. So, the race for the title of the largest planet is definitely crowded. Why all the uncertainty, you ask? The challenge lies in how we measure these celestial titans. Rox's 42 BB and the PDS-70 protoplanets were directly imaged, meaning they were seen as independent objects. This method involves a lot of educated guessing based on brightness and light patterns, which isn't always foolproof. On the other hand, Hat P67b was detected using the transit method, which measures how much a star dims when a planet passes in front of it. This method can give us a more direct size estimate. Adding another layer of complexity is the definition of a planet. There's a fuzzy boundary between planets and brown dwarfs, objects too small to be stars but larger than typical planets. Brown dwarfs can fuse deuterium, a form of hydrogen, which most planets can't. Some scientists draw the line at 13 Jupiter masses. Anything above that is a brown dwarf. But recent research suggests the boundary might be higher, maybe around 25 Jupiter masses or more. Curry also points out that how an object forms can complicate things. Planets like Jupiter typically form by accumulating a rocky core that attracts gas and dust. Rocks 42 BB, however, might have formed more like a star, with parts of a massive gas and dust disk collapsing under their own weight. This formation method isn't part of the official definition of a planet, which is why some scientists call these massive objects sub-brown dwarfs. Among the plethora of exoplanets discovered in the vast reaches of space, there are several notable giants that rival the scale of our own cosmic neighbors. Hat P65b, TOI 1518b, Hat P70b, Wasp 121b, Hats 23b, CFH Tawir OPH 98b, Kelt 8b, 
WASP-76b, HAT-P-33b, and WASP-178b are just a few of these celestial behemoths. Among them, we encounter fascinating worlds like WASP-76b, where winds whip at mind-boggling speeds of 18,000 km h, and molten iron rains down from the sky due to scorching daytime temperatures exceeding 2,400 degrees for 350 degrees. Additionally, the discovery of multiple extrasolar bodies orbiting the youthful star, TYC 8998-7601, with its largest orbital body likely being a brown dwarf, marks a milestone in our understanding of planetary systems. Even more intriguing is Chai 110913-773444, a rogue planet ensconced in a protoplanetary disk, making it one of the youngest free-floating substellar objects known, with an age estimated between 0.5 and 10 million years. These discoveries offer tantalizing glimpses into the diversity and complexity of the exoplanetary landscape beyond our solar system. So, while the debate rages on about what exactly counts as a planet, it's clear that our universe is filled with fascinating and massive worlds. Our own solar system is just one example of an endless variety of planetary systems, each with its own giant inhabitants. And who knows, the largest planet we know of today might be dethroned tomorrow as we continue to explore the vastness of space. As we reflect on the astonishing diversity of exoplanets, from the scorching infernos to the icy realms, we're reminded of the vastness and complexity of the universe that surrounds us. From the sweltering heat of AB Origai B to the bone-chilling cold of Ogle 2005 BLG 071 LB, each discovery unveils new layers of intrigue and wonder. While we marvel at the diverse worlds beyond our own, from blazing infernos to icy realms, we're left pondering, what other secrets does the cosmos hold, and how will our quest for discovery shape the future of humanity's cosmic journey?